Today we're talking about cheap health foods for getting strong and losing body fat. Hey you guys, so I just went grocery shopping and I wanted to share some of the cheap eats and different foods that can help you get lean and strong, but also eat healthy. So when trying to stay on a budget and trying to buy healthy foods, a lot of times buying in bulk is the way to go. What's great about that is you can just put stuff in the freezer and do things like that. Unfortunately, our freezer is so packed. <laughs> Today's only option was Trader Joe's, which is another place I love because they really have great prices and a lot of their products are really good. So today was just kind of a Trader Joe's run, not my normal huge bulk run. Um, so what we're gonna start with, I'm just gonna kind of briefly go through what I bought. Of course, water. That's always a good thing to have around. We want to stay hydrated. It's great for kind of flushing all those toxins out of our body. So it's always good to keep water on hand. You can usually find a great deal on these um, at, at different grocery stores. So I usually try to keep a lot of these kind of stuffed away in the closet. All right, now I'm just kind of going to go through what I have in each bag. Okay, tuna fish, super inexpensive. I usually buy albacore, watch the sodium levels. I usually get the no salt because you really don't need any more sodium if you're maybe adding a little bit of a mayonnaise or something to it. Um, so you can buy these like this, or once again, you, if you're in a Costco or Sam's Club or whatever, they I'm sure they carry like huge monster ones. But these are super great, great for throwing on a salad, just throwing into a sandwich really quickly. Um, another thing that I eat a lot of, and that is great to keep around, um, I buy just like, um, this is just turkey meat. Uh, and so just being on a budget, the leaner it is, the more expensive they are. But I find if I cook it, I just drain off the fat anyway. So if you buy something with a little bit more fat, plus I like the taste, it's not as dry. Some of them get really dry and it's, ugh, it's not very good. So that's another way to do it is just get something that maybe has a little bit more fat in it because it's less expensive and you just drain the fat off, pretty easy. All right, good old beans, oh my gosh. Super inexpensive, but holy cow, these guys are packed with fiber, packed with protein. Sometimes I'll make soups out of these. I will soak and um, cook these up and throw them on salads. I mean, it's just really endless. Beans are such a great uh, way to get your protein in and just tons of fiber. Can't go wrong. Good old brown rice, we all know about the brown rice. Um, Super inexpensive, really easy to make. You can either buy it something like this. A lot of times I like to buy it in the frozen packages where I just pop it in the microwave for like three minutes and you just open it up and it's good to go. Really easy, good carbohydrate to throw in with your meal. Good old ever sweet potatoes. Um, usually these you can find for pretty good deals. Trader Joe's has good deals on these. I like that they're smaller because they're easier to cook so I just Take like three of them, wash them off, wrap them in foil, and cook them for maybe an hour. Do what you want, mash them, put cinnamon on them. Another great, pretty inexpensive, super healthy meal. Good old pan spray, because we're cooking a lot. Even though we're meal prepping, we're still cooking a lot. So always keep some good old pan spray around. Um, so certain vegetables can get expensive just depending on the time of the year. I usually just try to buy maybe what's in season. Um, so these are just some zucchini squash, squash I wash up, I just cut them up, I throw them in a pan, just kind of season them, sometimes I'll throw an onion. Super good, super healthy, really not that expensive. I mean, they're really actually quite reasonable. All right, the other staple of most workout people's diet, the good old chicken breast. These I buy in just little pieces. What's great is you can either, when you're prepping, your meal prepping, you can just throw all of them in a pan, you're good to go for the week. Um, maybe what you don't want to cook up, maybe you're doing something that week, you don't need all of it, you can just throw it back in the freezer. So super great, super healthy. Price-wise, they're usually really affordable. Greek yogurt, here's another great thing. Packed with protein. They always have these on sale at the supermarket when I'm ever I'm in there. I usually just watch the sugars, um, but otherwise really good for just snacking and keeping around the house. Oats. Another great one, super cheap um, mornings. You can make oatmeal, you can make um, protein pancakes out of these. So many different things to do with your oats. 
another great little staple in your diet. Uh, chia seeds. I actually just started eating these. I love these. I put these on oatmeal and stuff. They're, they're packed with omega-3 oils. Really good for lowering your cholesterol if you have any cholesterol issues. Really good to keep around. Just kind of sprinkle on whatever. Adds a little texture to your food. Wah, wah, wah. Peanut butter. We all love our peanut butter. You can, I'm sure you can buy these in a jar this size at Costco. <laughs> But just a scoop of this here and there to get your fats in if you're maybe not getting enough fat in your diet. Mr. Peanut Butter is always a good thing to keep around. And of course milk. I go through tons of milk. I love milk. I didn't drink it for a long time, but now I love it for protein. It's good for fats. You can be a little bit more specific with the milks that you drink. Um, I like Fair Life. They were out, so I couldn't show you that, but it's like an ultra filter, filtered milk. Um, frozen vegetables. That's another great way to go. It can be a lot more budget friendly because I know buying fresh or organic can get really expensive. So um, just going to your freezer apartment any time of the year, usually you can find a good deal on frozen broccoli, frozen um, uh, asparagus, anything. And that's what's great. You can only cook, you can cook the portions you want. The rest, you just throw back in the freezer. All right, that takes us to frozen uh, fruits, which can get really expensive. So if you try to buy these either off season or even on season, they can really, I'm shocked at how much it could be sometimes to buy blueberries and stuff. So buying them frozen is a great option. You can throw these in smoothies. And like I said, you can keep them in the freezer and you don't have to worry about them going bad. Another one of my favorite acorn squash. I think this was like $1.29 this morning. I take these, I chop them in half, I put in a little bit of butter, a tiny bit of brown sugar, wrap them in foil, cook them up. Oh my gosh, I could literally, if I was on a desert island, he would go with me. I could live on these. <laughs> They're so good. Really good for you. They're packed with tons of vitamins, antioxidants, you name it. Okay. Um, jerky uh, it can be a little bit more expensive, but it's a great snack. You just really want to make sure that it doesn't have any nitrates. You want to watch the sodium levels. But for a splurge every now and then, I definitely like having some jerky around. Okay, and last, I love um, when I'm in a hurry. It's all about convenience and what's easy. I like buying um, spinach and stuff just in these big containers. A lot of times I'll have a better deal on grabbing a big container. I'll just take a handful, throw it on my plate, whatever I've got laying around. If I have an apple, I'll cut up an apple, put on it, or tomatoes that are maybe looking a little weird in the refrigerator to use them up. This is another great thing. And just really adding a lot more of greens into your diet is really good because it's just fast and easy. Okay, you guys. So here are some cheap eats that are healthy. Super easy to combine all of these. You can bake your chicken with your rice and your sweet potatoes, or there's so many different combinations. That's what's great. You're never gonna get bored, but they're budget friendly and that's what we're looking for. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Leave any questions you may have, maybe an exercise video, more nutrition questions, and hit the like button, subscribe. Thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you guys soon.